Fall. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome to the third task of the Insurance Apprentice Program. Firstly, I would like to welcome my fellow panel members on my right hand side, Reed Fern from Marsh, and my ever present as, uh, assistant panel member, Vuyo Lee. Welcome again, Vuyo. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we'll see what happens in task three which is sponsored by Marsh, and uh, the title is A Tragedy on the Eve of Renewal. Uh, I would ask uh, Riet to, uh, to give you a briefing. You are the new broker to a client who have just been appointed and you are about to go into your first renewal with this client. And then you get a phone call from the factory manager to say the factory, which is their key plant, is on fire. There's also some injuries of staff that's happened during this fire. So what we're looking for is what advice are you going to give this client? So good luck with that. I look forward to seeing you work on this task and seeing your presentations this afternoon. Um, and I need to point out that Riette and her colleague Adrian would, will be available. And Adrian will then also sit in at the presentations uh, when you do it a bit later on. The new teams for today, team one, and I'd like new names for both teams again, please. Mupedi, Walter, and Matthew. Team two, Azar, Roxanne, and Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Riet Fern from Marsh and I'm co-judge today with Judge Theo on the third task um, and with me is Audrey Lema from Marsh assisting us with this task. What about the value broking team? There is no firm leader in that team, although I think Matthew wants to take that mantle, okay. but um, I don't think he's strong enough. Um, Mopedi, Mopedi is dom more dominant than him and it looks like it, there's a bit of a bit of conflict between them. He he doesn't look at her, she doesn't look at him, they don't make eye contact. They're not speaking as a team, no. they are individual components, each with their own view. Walter is probably the one that, that has displayed the most empathy towards the client situation, which is one of the aspects we want to look at here. Whereas as Matthew is straight into the numbers, Rupini, um, I think is doing great as well. Um, I think she's a real big chunker, she doesn't say a lot, but when she does say it's also very carefully considered. She must be careful not to be led astray. If she's sure about a point, don't let the others derail her, because she had it right on the workers' compensation and what needs to happen there. I don't think Walter is technically sound. He's got a view and he's prepared to um, air his view, but in a team context, I think it could be dangerous because he can pull the team down. It was pointed out to him that certain things that he said are not correct. He didn't budge, he didn't change his view. If they don't sort their team dynamics and they're simply out, they're going to be sitting in front of the client and they're all going to interrupt each other like they've done this morning during the sessions with us. It's not going to give the client the kind of confidence that mm, this is my team. Uh, today's task, I need to win it. This task is about customer experience. That's something that I'm very passionate of. It's more involving claims and uh, it's also more on the customer experience. So today it's about reassuring the client and keeping the client happy through the claims journey. One of the components for me it was uh, um, speaking more about biz business interruption and uh, more of the retention strategy. Today I'm actually leading the team. Even though I'm not really, you know, raising my voice or speaking more than them, but in terms of coordinating the task I am. If you want to be a leader, you must be able to listen to other people's concerns and make uh, decisive decisions. So for this task, the personal element or the relationship element plays a big role. 
at the end of the day, we need to show the, the, the benefits of having insurance and also the relationship between the broker and the client. Walter has a lot of knowledge, but I feel that he does not um, make his points strongly or, or clearly. Matthew, um, I'm comfortable being with Matthew, even though he's very strong, because we want to win this task and we will do what it takes to win the task. As a two-time winner, I'm confident that we will win again. And one thing that I really think I need to improve on is my delivery uh, on presenting. I think today's task will require a certain uh, emotional understanding and quite a high EQ. We obviously have to manage the client's expectation, make them feel more at ease with the situation. I am fortunate enough to have been in this circumstance before where a client has suffered a major loss. So I have the necessary capabilities to deal with it and your involvement with the client is to protect the business. So you are at some point emotionally involved too. Don't see Mopedi as much competition to be honest with you. I think if you're going to work in a team environment you've each got to bring your own input and you've each got to bring your own merits to it and you can't try and dominate it especially if someone else has a different opinion or a better opinion. I've stepped back a bit today. I'd like to see the others put in a bit of input. I still realize that the task at hand needs to be completed and we need to win the task. Cut. Welcome back to the boardroom team. I believe you've chosen the name Valued Broking for yourself. That's correct. Good. Um, I want you to understand as well that we will be um, directing questions at you as you go along. Just one further mention that I'd like to make. I'd like to welcome Adrian here as a member of our panel. Uh, and he's also from Marsh who are sponsoring uh, this task today. Over to you. Well, firstly, good afternoon, Judge Pone panel. We're incredibly sorry to hear about what's going on at the moment. Uh, we, see, we received quite a distressing phone call from your factory manager. What we've done in the interim, just to kind of quell his nerves, we've uh, established there are a fire brigade on site. There are, however, no paramedics on site. So we've, on the way here, we've phoned a few of our service providers. Paramedics are on their way. You don't perhaps have a member of your staff on site? Rather than uh, you know, phoning, making phone calls? We don't. Our, our head assessor, he is an external member of our staff, is on his way there. We obviously can't do any assessments at the moment, the building's still on fire. Whether I pay too much premium or too little, it doesn't concern me. Now please talk to me about my staff. The staff has been taken care of. We have ensured that the factory manager has medical prompt medical services to make sure that the, the staff is attended to. And that we have cover for this. Unfortunately, in terms of COID itself, you will have to foot the bill right now, and it's a, a process of just submitting all the, the relevant information with your bills. There's some of your uh, employees that has got medical aid already. I want to voice my disappointment at the misunderstanding that I have about what cover we have for this. In terms of you guys being sued as a company, the COID Act has taken that away. You cannot be sued as a company. We just need to reassure you on the business interruption side. We'll try and assist you to meet your obligation with your uh, largest client. Or we would help in submitting the business interruption claim with the insurer. How long will, will the claim take for, for the business interruption? We will be in discussions with you because we need to actually discuss it further with the insurer. How strong is your relationship with Insurance A? Yes, we have a very good relationship with Insurer A and um, we have actually contacted Insurer A with the documents that we, we had, the policy reading and everything. We have assessed, we, we did see that this cover. The terms that we got for the current insurer, the premium is too high. There will be a one point, roughly about 1.4 million saving on annual premium for the same cover. We need to get an indication by today because cover expires today by midnight. We need to understand where we stand and where you stand so that we can help you accordingly. We, we've heard about the premiums, thank you very much. Okay, so I need an answer. Can we give them the mandate? Yeah. 
Thank you. Okay, you've got a mandate. Thank, Thank you. you. And okay. on the liability, we, we, we've had a chance to get quotations from insurance as well, even the current insurer. No, I'm, I'm not happy with any premium increase. So you only got a mandate to renew at current terms. Mm. Okay. Unfortunately, right. with that, yeah. with, with that current, with the increase in, in, in premium, that, that was very difficult to negotiate. But in light of what just happened, I, I believe that we should not move um, the, the, the insurance policy to another insurer which has quoted lower terms because we will then lose the retroactive date and with the potential of having to entertain uh, you know, claims because we've just had an event, we believe that a, a small uh, increase on the liability should Okay, fine, but we're not going to review that now and we're we, we, and, and we out of time. Thank you very much. We must actually move on to the next meeting. Okay, okay just before we close, uh, can I just mention so, something? Sorry, sorry, no. Oh, and, um, unfortunately, we, we really have to respect the, 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 the next meeting that we have. But thanks for your input. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.